Hello everyone, this is Kelly and I'd like to welcome you back to the Honey Bee Stamps YouTube channel and day two of our Happy Hearts release. The release will go live at honeybeestamps.com on January the 16th. I'm going to start out today with all of our new wax seal products. We have a new wax melting furnace and if I pull it out of the cute little box here, you can see it is a cute little wax melting furnace. It's perfect to fit over the top of a little tea light. I'm going to pull out the little tea light and my little Be Creative wax melting spoon and you just light your tea light and set your spoon on top and then it's perfect to melt all of your little waxes. The wax melt mix that we have for this release is called Happy Hearts. I'm going to pour these out and into my hand so we get a good look at all of the pretty colors. It's going to coordinate perfectly with the Happy Hearts paper pad. You can see there's a couple of different colors of pinks, blue, green, and yellow so pretty for spring and summertime and then we have three new wax stampers we have handmade i'm going to pull this one out of the box and i love this for envelopes and even cards you can see the little scripty handmade on there next we have with love again perfect for all of your handmade projects to send with love and then last but not least, we have Happy Mail. Perfect for the seal on your envelopes. If I flip this around here, you can see the cute little Happy Mail. So that is the three new little wax stampers we have for this release. But we also have a really cool adhesive pro uh, product. This is the Wax Seal Stickers. You can see they are large, flat stickers, really sticky, lots of adhesive there. They have the nice little tabs on the back. And these are so you can use our silicone wax melt mat and then have pre-made little wax melt seals and then use those wax seal stickers to adhere those onto any of your projects. Next are our Hearts in Bloom stencil set. Now this is a four stencil set and I'm going to kind of run through these, but I'm going to be using this set at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But there is a layering guide that's going to come with this stencil set that's going to give you some examples of color combinations and then what these look like when they're all layered up to create a beautiful hearts in bloom pattern on your cardstock. Next is a little love, love, love collection. We have the Love A2 cover plate, has four loves all the way down, and that mixes and matches with the Love, Love, Love stamp and coordinating die set. So we have a love that has the open letters so you can color those in. There's also the solid letters, and then mix and match sentiments that you can pair along with those love words, and then also that A2 cover plate. Now the coordinating die set is going to cut out all of those little extra sentiments, so you can cut those out and then place those on the top of your A2 cover plate die cut. Next is our Love and Luck collection. So we have these little potion bottle labels that fit perfectly on these sweet little die cuts. There's two little uh, bottles with the labels in, uh, included, the dies there. There are the stamps and you can see the cute little shapes of these, perfect for a little love and luck bottles. There are the label stamps and dies and this creates all kinds of different labels. Everything from birthday wishes, to courage, to love, to perfume bottles. So you can kind of make that anything you wanted it to be. There's also a coordinating die set that's gonna cut out all those little labels and designs. And then of course you could add those stamps onto the stamps and the dies that come with the bottle stamp set itself. So this is just a fun little collection to mix and match. Next, we have a great sentiment set and it's called It's Always Been You. I love you more than my morning coffee. Thank you. It's always been you. Hello. Love you yesterday. Love you still. 
friend. You are my person. My heart is filled with love. I learned what love is from loving you and many more. Now there's also a coordinating die set that's going to go along with this stamp set and it's going to cut out every one of those great greetings. The next sentiment set is called You're a Keeper. We have You're a Keeper. You're so kind. You're the best. You never cease to amaze me. You are loved. Happy birthday, beautiful. Hello, crafty friend. Love you lots. Your friendship keeps me going. So thankful you are my friend and more. Now there is a coordinating die set that goes along with this stamp set and it's going to cut out every one of those great You're a Keeper greetings. The next stamp and die set I have to share with you is called Just For You. Now this is all about gifting and there's even some little crafty items in there. It's so cute. There's a strawberry bouquet, two flower bouquets, lots of little gift uh, boxes and packages. There's a set of scissors. There's even some washi tape and then some extra little blooms and stems. There's some great greetings in this one as well that can go on the little packages or just be added to your card like love you, hello, thanks, hi friend, and miss you. Now the coordinating die set is going to cut out every one of those great images in this stamp set. Next I have the sweetest little set of standalone paper piecing dies and these are called heart hugs. There's a fox, a bear, and a hedgehog and they are so darn cute. Here is the little bear and you can see he's hugging the little heart there. There's also balloons, but you can use the balloons or the hearts on the little strings to create something for your little critter to hold. There's the little fox that's all built. And then there's also the sweet little hedgehog and I have made a little heart balloon for my little hedgehog to hold. All of these little critters have little hands that are open so you can put the little hearts in their hands or the balloons. They're so darn cute. These little heart hug critters are perfect for Valentine's Day cards, birthday cards, you name it. Next is the foiled fluttering hearts cover plate. This is an A2 size foiling plate. It's going to foil those beautiful fluttering hearts and this coordinates back to some of our older products. This fluttering heart cover plate that cuts out the hearts and then also our pierced heart cover plate. Now here's a look at that die that's going to cut out all the hearts and I've cut that out of purple paper and if I line it up here you're going to be able to layer your foiled piece and then the original fluttering heart cover plate together to get that great foiled look from underneath. Now here's a look at our pierced fluttering heart cover plate. So this is the original two dies where you could line these up and you could see the pierced hearts underneath. Now you have the option of using the pierced hearts or the beautiful foiled heart cover plate underneath. So it just depends on how you want to use these. If you like the look of foil, then this foiled fluttering heart cover plate is perfect for Valentine's Day and birthday cards and anniversary cards. Next is our Clover Petals 3D Embossing Folder. Now this is just a great background. If I open this up here, you can see all of the great detail that this is going to give you when you run this through your die machine. Just follow the directions for your die machine on whatever sandwich you need to use with embossing folders. Here's a look at that embossing folder of pink paper and I just rubbed a blending brush gently over the top. Here it is in red and I added some little white dot details just for a little something and this is going to be fun for backgrounds all year long. Okay, it's time to create a card with some of today's uh, new products. I'm taping down a an A2 piece of cardstock that I already have cut down and you can see I have it pulled away from the edge of my stencil mat and that's just so I can um, stencil in the same place every time and not have to trim around the edges uh, where the stencil kind of uh, or the design leaves off there on the edges. I'm starting out with tattered rose and I'm going to blend on spun sugar because this is going to give me the perfect shade mixing those two pinks. 
and it's going to match our new wax melt. So this was trial and error just a little bit to see if I could mix these two together and get the perfect pink. So I'm starting out with those large hearts and the finished hearts are gonna be kind of a dusty, uh, kind of a muted pink. So I'm just brushing this all over with my Honey Bee Stamps blending brushes. And then I'm gonna take the sponge sugar just to kind of pinken it up a little bit. That tattered rose um, was a little more, um, kind of a corally color, but this is just gonna bring a little bit of the pink back in, and you can see that here. Now this looks very bright right now, almost like a red. It's going to kind of tone down and dry into the paper, and it's gonna be the perfect shade of pink to match the new Happy Hearts wax melts. I'm gonna pull those out at the end of the video, and I'm gonna add some wax seals to the card. I'm gonna take the second stencil and this has little blooms or blossoms all over it and this time I'm going to change up the colors and I'm just making sure that I get the stencil I want them all going the same way every time and so I'm always really careful to try to get the words that are etched into the stencil going the right direction every time and this time I am bringing in a red and I believe that this is uh, candied apple, which is just a really great red. And so I'm kind of going for a Valentine's kind of card here that's going to be pinks and reds and greens. And I just love this uh, hearts in bloom stencil because I think you can use this all year long with it has little flowers in it It has leaves it has the little hearts. So it's kind of fun now this next layer stencil again I'm making sure that everything lines up that I have the words going in the right direction and then I'm butting that stencil up into the top or the corner of that stencil mat so everything stays lined up every time and I'm really double checking this that way I make sure that all of those little petals line up. Now this is a pink, this is picked raspberry, and again, I'm just rubbing it all over those little open spaces in the stencil. Now this stencil set is really nice. It does have a layering guide that you will receive with this. It does give you some color combination examples and then what it will look like once all the layers are all added together and what it should look like. You can see how with that layer, all the little petals just fit together nicely and we have some little red dots underneath there. And now it's time to pull in the green and this is Twisted Citron. And I'm just going over all of the open greenery areas and making sure, again, that the words that are lined up and etched into that stencil are lined up and going in the right direction so all the little pieces layer together and work exactly like they're supposed to. But I love how these stencils line up and the greenery fits right into the little petals of the flowers. It, the little stems of greenery fit right in between the little red dots. And so this is really super cute once we get it all stenciled. And I'm just gonna peel up the tape here. That's the Easy C or highlighter tape that I use to hold everything down and now it's all done you can see how that pink that we did for the hearts kind of really dried back and now I have like the perfect kind of dusty pink that's going to perfectly match the wax melts from happy hearts here's another one that I tried and I spritzed with water I kind of wanted a little bit of a water colored look and so there's different options when you're playing with inks and stencils and different techniques that you can do so I urge you to kind of think outside the box and kind of mix it it up and get different looks for your cards. Now before I move on any further with my card I wanted to add some of this green crinkle ribbon. It perfectly matches the green that I pulled into the stenciling on that and I did trim down this stenciled background just a little bit because I want the cardstock underneath to show for a beautiful layer. Now I'm using my wax melt furnace that's the little apparatus, the little contraption there on the bottom that fits perfectly over a uh, little tea light candle. I'm using my wax melting spoon and I've pulled out the pink wax from the Happy Hearts wax melt. And I'm gonna add and use one of our uh, little wax stampers that says with love. 
Okay, now I want to show you different ways you can do this. And you're going to kind of see my boo-boo here. So I'm pouring this directly over the ribbon and then adding that wax stamper that says with love. And I'm holding it there for a few seconds. I want to make sure that that wax sets up nicely. But this is my first attempt. And so we're going to see if I peel that up, you'll see that all my wax, it's pretty, but all my wax kind of seeped off of my bow and all that. So I'm going to light up my little tea light again and set up my little wax melt furnace. And I'm going to melt some more wax in my little spoon. I'm going to use the same pink. And then I'm going to show you how an easier way, I should say, to add your wax melts on to projects. And for example, like if you're adding this on top of twine or a bow or something like that. So I got smart this time and I pulled out our wax melting silicone mat. I'm pouring the melted wax directly onto that mat and I'm just having it all kind of puddle up into a circle there. And I like to hold it over and let all that great wax melt or drip out of the spoon. I'm using the same With Love wax stamper. And now I have this nicely shaped wax melt that's already like pre-made. And all I have to do is add it onto the bow. So I'm gonna use one of the wax melt stickers and it has a really nice tab. It's really super sticky double-sided sticker. Now I can just place that right on top of my project there and it goes so nicely on that bow. Those little stickers are so super sticky, it's not going to come off. And then look how cute that is added onto the card. So I'm just making sure all that's lined up nicely and pressed down and now this is all ready to add onto my project. So I'm going to add that on to some coordinating cardstock. And this card is almost done. I could just leave it just as is. Now to finish off and just add a little pizzazz onto that wax melt or the seal that I made, I'm going to use our gold metallic ink and just rub a little bit over the top of that with love. So I dabbed it onto my ring finger and you can see that gold metallic ink that I have there. And I'm barely dabbing that on top of that with love just so it hits those raised letters. And now this card is all finished. Super si simple stenciling. And then with the help of those really cool little wax melt stickers, I could stick that right on top of my bow. And this card is all done. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today and all the products available on January 16th. Make sure you join us for our release party on the 16th. And then I hope to see you again and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.